Hey everyone, I've been looking at the Siku Instagram official pictures of what's coming in 2023 and I also had a look at Toy Car Dealer, which is a Siku specialist and let's see what's going to be released. So first, there's going to be in the first half of 2023 a Scania truck with a skip and it looks like it's got some moving parts which is great for kids to play with. Looks really solid. Uh, I know that Siku they kind of do things to a three inch scale and the cars, they're not that small. They're usually around 150, 155 scale. So we with them um, rubber tires as well. So usually a bit bigger than other brands, but very, very sturdy, very durable. And then we've also got this Land Rover Defender 90 P400 AWD. Looks pretty cool. You can see the headlights um, in painted on. Sometimes Hot Wheels aren't painted on and same for Matchbox as well. And here we've got like an opening roof, uh, probably to save money on die cast metal being used in the model perhaps. Uh, I know that, I don't know, for me, maybe other die cast collectors have a comment, but since COVID things just haven't been the same, I think. So in terms of, you know, material expenses and cost cutting and things like that. So with this one, we get that Land Rover Defender, the police uh, livery. And at the top we get this kind of light bar. It looks really cool. Um, I can see it's quite a lot of chunky plastic underneath as well. Next up, we've got this Dodge Challenger SRT Custom. Now, I love Dodge Challengers, and this looks pretty cool. I mean, to me, the only bad drawback about this is the... Well, if you're a kid and you're into toys, it doesn't really matter much. But if you're like me and, you know, you want a, a cool car with some more details, something a bit more collectible, I think it's this lime green... And it comes from the exposed engine part that comes out. And then it's linked to the green seat, the green dash, and then the green spoiler at the back. If the front engine part was a silver, or if the interiors was, you know, black, and the spoiler was this lime green that matches the Hellcat design on the side, that would be really cool. Uh, but at the moment, because it's all green, it, it does look a bit like, a, you know, colours that you, you'd see in a Hot Wheels fantasy car. It does look a bit too toyish. But, you know, let's wait and see. Sometimes when you've got the product in the hand, you look at the car and you think, actually, it looks pretty cool. On racing car, Aston Martin Vantage GT4 155 scale. Uh, it's got front headlights, clearly. It's got like a painted bumper part at the front. Uh, what's the license plate? MX5430? Maybe some someone who knows what that means can let me know in the comments below. It looks pretty cool. Um, have to wait for the final version to see because maybe there'll be some changes. But yeah, it looks pretty solid. I've seen some reels on the Instagram uh, of the kind of official Siku, like playing around with it. It looks really nice. Uh, big spoiler as well. And then we get this Toyota Supra, so I've seen this on the official CQ Instagram as well. And it looks to me like the engine hood is openable, so we'll see about that. You can see the wipers have been moulded into the windscreen, the plastic part as well. And maybe we'll get some variations of this in the future in terms of the colour. But it looks like a sort of pearl white, slightly grey uh, colour. So yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. Again, Siku, for me, sometimes the pictures aren't that appealing, but when I see them and the way they're designed, I really like them, and I have picked up quite a few of these, even though they're not as detailed. You know, I am actually interested in, you know, other brands that I've reviewed, uh, you know, such as, you know, LCD, uh, X-Car Toys, you know, and, and even I've got like a just, you know, Tomica Limited Vintage Neo as well, but... Even though they're nowhere near as detailed, there's just a very fun factor about Siku and they're quite affordable as well. And I like durable toys. Some of the toys I have, like even from Auto World, you know, they're very nice to look at. But when you touch them, you're like, oh, there's always this feeling at like, oh my gosh, if this breaks, what's going to happen? But with these, I don't have to worry about these and I like not worrying about stuff. So then we get this kind of bigger sort of farm tool. It's an Amazon Centaur Cultivator. And I think there's an attachment point at the front to maybe hook on to like a tractor or other vehicle. And then we've got this John Deere AR410 dual wheels, massive 132 scale tractor, which looks really cool. And then we get this 
parcel service set from DHL. Now there were two pictures from the website and I've just put them here. So it looks like, you know, you can take off a trailer and move things around. Lots of parts, you got like wooden pallets, you get the forklift truck that hopefully can move up and down as well. So lots of playability, great for the kids. And then in the second half of 2023, I noticed this Vespa 125 GTS Super Scooter. And there's an arrow on the picture to show that, you know, there's a foot, a foot stand so you, the model can stand up, which is great. Because sometimes, for example, Tomica, they do plastic parts, like transparent parts to help balance the motorcycle. But I think it's great when it's all included and, you know, you're not, you don't end up losing it. So there we go. Classic Vespa. Then this one, the Audi Q4 e-tron. This one on the website didn't have a picture but at least they had, of the actual model, I mean, but they had a picture of the vehicle. So it's going to look like this, 155 scale. And then they're also going to do it in an ADAC Pannenhilf livery. So I think it's going to be yellow with like the words ADAC across it as well. Then we got this Ford Mustang Mac E 1400, 155 scale. To me, it looks a little bit unrefined at the moment. You know, the paint, like for example, the roof is black, but then there's like a white lip on the front. The casting looks a bit rough itself. It's not particularly smooth, but there is a there's cool tampos. For example, the front headlights have done really well. There's like a Mustang on the front, uh, the horse on the front, and uh, you know, got this big front kind of lip at the bottom. Looks really cool. Uh, it looks very sturdy, but let's see if it gets refined over the coming months because it is second half. So there's still some time to go. Then we get this Land Rover Defender Fire Brigade version. And it's got, again, it's got the light bar, so it's probably just been modified from the others as well. Um, this is what I'm really looking forward to. So one of my favourite Hot Wheels was the Lamborghini Scion. And now this is like a Roadster version by Siku, which looks really cool. This kind of metallic teal colour in between blue and green it looks really nice. And I can't wait to get to see what that looks like. I'm sure it'll be really cool. I think the front is quite a bit of plastic at the front, it seems. Hopefully, they'll try to mould some kind of carbon fibre appearance on the front grill. Otherwise, if it's just straight up plastic, I think I'd be a bit disappointed if it was like that. But let's see what comes out. I'm quite hopeful. And I'm really happy they're doing this Roadster. I don't think there's a 164 scale version of a Roadster at the moment. So, 155. It's, it's just a little bit bigger, but not, not too big. So, that's, look, that's looking pretty cool. Then we get this Piaggio Ape, which looks like a really fun vehicle. And to me, it looks like the back can open, so you can put stuff in and wheel it around on its three wheels. It looks like a really fun vehicle again. Then we get this truck, Nissan Navara, 150 scale, so it's quite big. And we get open, looks like the door's open. It looks like there's on the front headlights, they've used plastic pieces on a bigger model. And you can put things in, maybe. I'm not sure about the back, if there's a trailer option. Uh, this is the only photo there was on the site, so it looks like it's still in prototype. Um, and yeah, could be potentially be modified again. I don't know if the front engine hood lifts open either. Okay, then we get this Volkswagen T1 bus, again 150, and we get these opening doors. I've uh, Looking at this, for me, it looks like the doors are plastic. Um, this is because just the way that if you see the red paint, the way that it's quite metallic and the way the light shines off it compared to plastic, which is duller, I think it's um, the doors are plastic, but I could be wrong. But it's just my um, just my opinion at the moment. Let's see what it comes out as in the future. Okay, that looks like another fun vehicle to wheel around. I love models at opening parts that are done well. Then we get this black version out, which is the transporter custom with this flame on the side <laughs> looks pretty cool and you get the white headlights which look like eyes coming out at the front to give it that character and it's got i'm not sure if the wheels are a bit lower than the other one maybe it's the stance is a bit lower on this one too so they managed to do that which looks pretty cool again that's one to 50 scale then we get another tractor a fent 728 vario and that's about it that i've seen so far so let me know which models you're looking forward to, uh, what you think of Siku, and if you have any, what's your favourite Siku model, and hopefully see you in the next video.